Thank you, uh, Professor. And good afternoon to all the participants in this conference and hope everyone uh, stay safe and healthy. I am Chua Bisio from uh, University of Malaysia, Sabah. And my presentation this is regarding to the exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis of relationship quality index in Malaysian context. And here are my uh, team members for this project. All right, for the start, for the introduction, the Relationship Quality Index or RQI is a widely employed uh, instrument measuring relationship quality among couple. Um, and this instrument continue to be relevant and is utilized in large scale population study as well as in specific population. However, there is a lack of uh, relationship quality skill in Malaysia. Therefore, the aim of this study were to determine the factor structure and psychometric properties of the Malay RQI in Malaysian context. For your information, the original RQI consisted of uh, six items and but in this study, a general item on overall relationship quality was removed and two additional items was, was added to measure the negative aspect of a relationship quality. And the uh, items were, were read in, on a seven point scale ranging from one uh, very strongly disagree to seven very strongly agree. And this scale then was uh, back translated in Malay. And uh, there were 256 uh, Malaysian adults in a relationship participate in this uh, current study. And the respondent were asked to complete the RQI through an online survey. For the result, um, for the extra, exploratory factor analysis, uh, EFA, um, the EFA extracted that uh, two factors uh, that we uh, label as positive relationship uh, consists of uh, five items and two items measuring negative relationship. And these two factors accounted for more than 87% of the total variance in uh, relationship quality. For the reliability test, the result indicated high level of reliability for the total scale with uh, alpha comma uh, 0.84 and the two factors uh, with the alpha coefficients 0.9 for positive relationship and the negative relationship with alpha 0. 87. And the result for confirmatory factor analysis um, revealed that the two factor models of RQI provided a good fit of data. But however, the RNC was not achieved the recommended value. Then we do some modifications and the fit indices of the modified model suggested that the data fit the final model well. So for that, we conclude that these findings uh, supported the relationship quality index as a reliable and a valid measure of relationship quality and its utility in Malaysian context is proven. So for the future study, could employ this skill in their study on relationship quality in Malaysia. So before I end my presentation, I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation to Professor Wayun Lo, the principal investigator of this project and all the members. Thank you.